Howdy, my friends. I want to share with you my new favorite tool called KDP Rocket. And this is going to be my first case study. And at first, I was thought it was going to be against KD Spy, but guess what? They go hand in hand. These two deliver the one two knockout punch KDP Rocket and KD Spy. And there you can see the book I just. I just recently published my first little case study here. So what you do is you go to KDP Rocket and you do a new idea search. So what we're looking for are things with high search volume and low competition. And as you can see here, you this is the how to new idea search and it comes up with a bunch of how to stuff and uh, you should really export this into a Google Doc and it's much easier to filter. But at first you get a feel for the how to keyword and how it's ranking and the number of competitors is also very important down there in that column. So export this. And it's much easier to filter and you can put it then in your whatever Excel. I use Google Docs and it's much easier then to filter by by searches, Amazon searches or competitors. So you see in this left column here in B, you, you can easily now filter it with the lowest competition and you can identify right away several th things that have zero competition but search volume so this isn't amazing search volume but it's not bad either so and it's good enough for our case study um, okay so i sorted it and you see now it is perfectly from zero to top and you will see some interesting things in here uh, this is a direct a direct cut from Amazon and Google Keyword Planner now. It is not a saved search like Merchant Word saves the searches and what you're seeing is just an extract from Excel. No, this is the live real-time search keywords. So I chose this keyword because I had already made a blog about it. So, but if you want to teach somebody how to Dougie up there, you can see that you can, uh, there's no competition for Dougie. However, for this case study, uh, my airplane blog will work pretty well. So we are looking at the actual market right now. That's what's so interesting. KDP Rocket is very good at identifying high volume keywords with no uh, competition. So KD Spy cannot do this. KD Spy only shows you what's on Amazon at the time. KDP Rocket shows you the actual market for keywords that are not on Amazon. So that's the interesting thing about that. So, so at first you go to KD Spy, uh, KDP Rocket, and and I use the Excel to see what's interesting for me, and then I go back, and I will then analyze the ones that are very interesting. And you have to be careful here not to analyze too quick or else Amazon might kick you. Yeah, because they'll think you're a bot. So the point is to analyze the good stuff here, what has really interested you, and then check the competition. And you can then check the competition and you will see then what is, which categories are more profitable. So you go to the competition and you look at the books that are making the most money. Okay. So for example, this one right here looks like the highest ranking. How to make paper airplanes. So making a paper airplane on $12 monthly sales. Those are projected sales, I guess. The month is just beginning. So I'm looking for planes. There's the, the best one. Pa planes, gliders, and paper rockets. Monthly sales, $116. See that right there? So now we can go check it out on Amazon. And we are going to see the categories that it is in. 
So that's that one. And what we're going to do now is go through all of these books. There's mine already, making $18 per month. Well, that's projected. Yeah, I, I published it two days ago, and there have been two sales. One of them was mine. So that $18 is projected. So we can go check out my new book. Oops, there we go. And you can see it's already in crafts and hobbies and activity books. So I chose those using Katie Spy. So here's the other competition book, uh, Paper Crafts, Crafts Hobby. So what you do is you go look at the top competitors in this niche and see which categories they have chosen, okay? And then you go and you open those categories and then you research them with Katie Spy to get the keywords. So what I'm doing here is looking at other categories from the top ranking books, aeronautics and space, crafts and hobbies, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open all of these categories now and go through them really quick with Katie Spy. Maybe I'll do this off camera to save you the, all of this research time, but I'm going to show you how you can quickly do this now with Katie Spy. So you hit the button at this category and you see all green lights. So that is a good one. Activities, crafts, and games definitely a good category but you see that there are subcategories so you go now to the word cloud and now you see these keywords and you write them all down so book and minecraft was one so now the next category monthly revenue ah, not that great competition but no competition okay not as good as the first one these subcategories aren't as great as the main category so there there it is again activities, crafts, and games. So I wrote down all of the keywords from the word cloud, and I'm going to go through all of these categories now and look at the best one. This one's not bad, 18 grand per month, a green light, a red light, and a yellow light. So now I'm going to write down all of these words, and I'm going to put them in my KDP dashboard later when I'm publishing the book. Let's see, children's aeronautics and space books, aeronautics and space. Let's see. Oh, not, not that great, $298. Crafts and hobbies. So that was the other top ranking book. They, I think all of the top ranking books were in this one. $2,000 per month and no competition. So I'm going to write down all of these books, DIY, book, crafts, kids. Those are all my type of keywords. And as you can see, these are what's going to get us put in that category now. Okay. So again, quick summary. You go to KDP Rocket. You identify a high search volume keyword and no, or low competition. And you could use that for the title or subtitle of your book. I'm going to call this the main keyword now, the number one keyword, our starting point, probably the title of your book. Okay, so like I said, I literally had to made a blog about this 10 years ago. That's why I said, okay, I'll use this for the case study. And I literally just copied and pasted everything. I marked it all and copied it and I dumped it in my Google Docs, my template. And then I prettied it up, you know, and, but you can see here uh, some of the stuff, uh, these share links from Blogger, it's straight from Blogger there, you know, and, uh, but otherwise, you know, I made it into a real ebook. Okay. So I, I didn't just, just put the blog post. I, I prettied it up and made it into a real ebook. Okay. And then I put this in Caliber and I made the EPUB out of it. And then I went and did the extra mile and made this content upgrade to get the template of this plane. So if they go to my blog now, they can go get a free template for the plane. Because maybe I'll, I'll make this book for free. It'll probably just be a lead magnet. It's just a test right now. And, and Google Docs, if you didn't know, you can use as a totally free uh, lead magnet collector. You make a Google, Doc, uh, a Google form like this and you collect their names. And there's a plugin for the Google Docs forms that will send them an, a welcome email and a total uh, email series. So it will send them the PDF. It's called eForm Mule or something. Maybe I'll put a link down there. And once they complete the form, it will then send them an email. 
So that's pretty cool. Okay, so there's my, my book. And you'll see I published it on May 6th. It, only two days ago. Today is May 8th. Okay. And I put those keywords from Katie Spy in the keyword field. I used the main keyword from KDP Rocket also in the keyword field because my book title is the best paper airplane in only 10 folds. Okay. So notice uh, how to make a paper airplane is not in the title. It's in the keywords that, that are in my KDP dashboard. So here you see I, I published it and it's already in the categories that I chose. And uh, put a really quick cover on there. So now you need to go and open an anonymous browser or you need to log out of Amazon totally because you don't want to search in Amazon when you're logged in because you'll get their suggestions for you from your profile. So this is now I'm searching how to make a paper airplane in anonymously in the Google Chrome browser. Now you see, you'll see all of these products. Some of them are books, some of them are not. So the book is not ranking. It's been one or two days. It's not ranking on the first page, but if we go to Kindle books, then it's a much different story. So where's Kindle books right there. And so there's the top ranking book again, and there's my book in one, two, three, fourth place for that keyword, how to make a paper airplane. And as you can see, uh, I bought it once. And somebody else has bought it also. There are two sales on this book now in two days. And it's already fourth position. So the first, the first page for that keyword, how to make a paper airplane. So that was pretty darned easy. Now you see in the title, I use the curiosity gap. Can you really make an awesome airplane in 10 folds? And as you can see, I've already had two sales. So now just imagine if I did this with a really lucrative niche, right? The point is to do your research and find a really lucrative niche with no competition. Okay. And then once you're on that first page for that keyword result, you're kind of on autopilot. It's not that easy, but as you can see how I use the tools and put the two together and it is easy now to quickly identify a niche and put your book in that niche. So, so this is the challenging part. Now you got to find something. So crafts and hobbies isn't that great. Okay. Uh, but now you have to find a really good niche and there are thousands of them out there, but you need KDP rocket because it shows you that there is no competition in a certain niche, right? So, so that's the point. So this is where you really have to do your research and and find something that works for you, but find high search and high search and zero or competition of 10 or 12 or something like that. And if you want to like teach somebody how to dance right now, how teach me how to Dougie, there's zero competitors right there. I was almost going to do that, but I mean, I already had the blog. All I had to do was copy and paste the blog and okay. So these sales aren't great, but you saw that I placed the book on the first page already. This is, this is the keyword strategy, right? It's not just making a book and then promoting it. You have to write to market. So find out which keywords are ranking and then write the book to that keyword or market. And when you find the right keywords uh, in a profitable market, then you'll be making all that money. And so I'm going to do another case study like this. This is my first one. I'm really loving these tools. I'm really loving KDP Rocket uh, because it shows you the potentials that uh, Katie Spy can't. But uh, the, the problem is when you do find a super profitable niche with zero competition, then you don't want to show anybody it. So I'm, I'm going to do this and uh, I think I'll show all of my members. I don't think I'll make the video public, but if you do uh, go sign up at ZBooks, then you will definitely see the case study when I make the, uh, the really profitable book. 
All of these authors that do this kind of stuff, they do not even tell you their author name. Okay, so that, that's the next challenge is to, to make a really profitable book with this tool and a case study. And so you can go down to the links downstairs and you can get all of this stuff and join ZBooks. And I will see you on the inside.